Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Mutzel giving you another tutorial video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content. And we're gonna get straight to it, guys. Just to let you know, if you hear noise at the background, like cars, trucks, noisy cars, and and etc., I'm very sorry. It's just that where I where I am recording now and where I live, it, it is a busy road. Okay. So yeah, where I live right now, it's a busy road, and in and out there's like about 500 cars that comes by, so yeah. Anyway guys, let, let's get straight into it. So this video is all about how to install your the important mods for your GTA V PC modding. Uh, modding. So yeah, anyway guys, all you, all, you gotta, all you gotta do guys is download OpenIV. OpenIV is the most important thing uh, for your GTA V. PC modding and once you guys do that okay then then I just follow the path on where to go I will leave all the download links and websites inside my description below so go and check it out guys so once you guys download open IV open up your open IV okay then go to Windows over here grab this audio V Windows Then now, then now it will take about a few seconds to open. Now guys, don't touch anything in here. Go to your tools. Go to ASI Manager. And then now install all these, okay? Install. And then now install. And now it will say here, create mods folder. Yes. And allow editing too. And yes. And then install this, and that's all you gotta. That's all you guys gotta do, and put, in, and then push close. Then now click on edit mode, and yes, and then now don't touch anything. Just minimize that, and then now, uh, then now once you guys do that, okay. Then now right click on your game, hover over your GTA V game, right click, and then click on open file location. And see guys, as you guys can see, there's actually no mods in here, not even one, because everything is actually clean, except for this, because um, we just we just added that in uh, through the open IV. So you guys, um, there's actually no mods in here. Okay, it's all fresh and clean. So once you guys go and open up your GTA V folder, right click anywhere. Then now you've got to make a script folder, okay? So let's make a new folder and, and call it script. Script folder. And there you go. That's all you gotta do. Now, guys, I will leave, okay? I will leave this this inside my description, okay? So you guys can download it, okay? Um all the files here, all the files here is up to date, okay? Uh, it is up to date, but I will leave the website to these downloads inside my description below too. So, so just in case, if you guys are watching this uh, in 2019 or 2020, you guys can go straight towards straight towards the main website and download it from there. So, you guys, um, the first thing we gotta do, okay? Uh, hang on, guys. Let me just go and push this on the side. So, you, so you guys, um, what we are doing, okay? Uh, hang on, let me just do this. Yeah, do it again. Now, guys, what we are doing, okay, is that we are adding the most important mods into the game. We're not adding like flash things or like visual or like real life mods and stuff, okay? We are only adding the real, I mean, the important mods first, and then I'll do another video on how to add like cars, vehicles, and outfits, and etc., okay? So guys, let's get straight to it. So all you gotta do guys is open your script hook v.net. Put that over there. And then now copy these three, okay? Don't copy the license or read me text, just copy these three guys and drag it towards your GTA V main directory, which is the main folder. And that's all you guys gotta do. Quit out of that. Then now let's go to your script hook V. Wait for a few seconds. Quit out of that. Then now it says over here read me text, okay? Um just in case if you guys don't know what to do, 
It says over here, installation C, copy your script called read.dll to your game main folder. Okay, uh, so, yeah. Uh, and uh, in order to load ASI plugin, you need to have ASI loader installed, yeah, which we, which, we, which we already got it. You can download it, blah, blah, blah. With the disturb, you must delete the old D, uh, D sound dot DIL if you have one installed. So, so guys, um, I really know what to, what to do. All you, all you guys got to do, okay, is go to bin folder. Then now click on the done port h dot DIL and script talk v dot DIL. And then now drag them both towards your main directory, which is there. Now I replace the guys, okay? And there you go. And that's all you guys got to do. And then put out of there. Now we're going to be putting three more things, guys. And then that's it. Now the next thing we're going to do is installing menu. Menu is really easy, guys. And now uh, we got to click on menu. Wait for a few seconds and then now drag it to the side then now all you gotta do guys is copy the whole thing except for the readme.txt and drag it to your GTA V main directory and then wait for a few seconds and there you go now the next thing you guys gotta do is quit out of it and we finish menu so guys, mainly we finished script.v.net, script.v, and menu. Now let's do trainer v. Trainer v is another trainer. All you gotta do, guys, is go to trainer v. Then now just copy these two. Okay, don't copy the whole thing. Just copy, just copy the ASI and the INI, and that's it. And then drag it to your GTA v main directory. And that's all you gotta do. Now we finished this, we finished that, we finished that, and we finished menu. Now guys, here is a difficult one. Your map editor. Now people, um, I've been on the website and people have been saying they don't know how to install it. Uh, it is really, really hard. It is simple and easy guys, okay? All you gotta do is go to your script folder. Then now open up map editor. Wait for a few seconds. Quit out of there, drag your file over a bit. Now copy the whole thing, okay? The whole thing. Uh, is there any? Make sure, guys, make sure there is no readme.txt. Do not copy readme.txt and then drag it to your script folder. Wait for a few seconds and there you go. Then now you quit out of there, guys. And then wait, wait, wait. Go to your, go to your native UI. Wait for a few seconds, click that, and then now drag your native UI to see, guys. As you guys can see, these are another native UI.dil. So we're gonna drag this one over here and replace it. And then there you go. That's all you gotta do, guys. And now we basically, uh, we basically added the main important mods into your GTA V uh, PC, uh, PC file. So, guys, that. We got a quick out of there. And then now uh, put, put that over here. Now guys, tomorrow I will be show you, uh, showing you guys how to add other mods. Okay, so I will be doing tutorials every day too. And even GTA V um, real life mods too. So um, guys, I forgot to mention, make sure, okay guys, make sure I forgot to mention, make sure you disable your, um, yeah guys, I forgot. Make sure you disable your virus, okay? Because, um, because yeah, Windows won't allow modding. That's why I forgot to mention, guys. That's why that thing popped up because uh, I forgot to uh, mention that to you guys that you must um, disable your, um, yeah, you must disable your virus, guys. So, guys, I'm gonna pause the video, okay? And I will see you guys in the game. Yo, we're back guys now as you guys can see i am in the game now guys just to let you guys know um uh that you guys want to see that the menu does work okay 
So here we go guys, let's start with Menu, F8 is to open Menu, and there you go guys, Menu does work, it is working, and then F4 is Trainer V, and there you go guys, Trainer V is working, and the last one is F7, Map Editor, and Map Editor is working. So guys, there you go. Uh, but guys, if you if you installed on uh, if you install the map editor and the menu and the trainer v with no script hook v dot dll and even the other script hook v, and um, then the menus the menus will not work. Okay, so make sure you do install the script hook v, the two most important dlls. Okay, and then you'll be good to go. And we're back on the desktop guys, so like always guys, I hope you guys did learn something out of that, but guys, if you need any help for your mods, okay, uh, let me know in the comments, okay, but like always guys, if you guys did like that tutorial video, smash that like button, and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content, and even tutorials too, so like always guys, I'll see you guys in my next video, peace, and I'm out.